Okay, so in step six, we'll be adding the words to the logo design. And so to do that, we'll come over here to the toolbox and we'll choose the text tool. And once we select it, notice that the tool controls bar changes. And so in the top left, we've got our place to select our font. So I can either use this drop down menu or I can select the currently chosen font and begin typing the name of the font that I want to find. And so we want to use Nexa Rust Slab. And so I'm going to select that. And so now I'll click inside of my page area and I'll begin creating text objects. I want to create one for each of the words. So I'll click outside of Spaceship now to create a new object for Earth and then do it again to create one for crew. And so now that I've got all three of these created, the next thing I want to do is go ahead and resize them to the widths that I want to use for the design. And so I'll come back up to my select tool and I will choose the spaceship um, object first. And so now I'm going to change the width to 6.25 inches. But before I do that, I'm going to click the icon of the um, lock here in the middle between the width and the height. What that will do is when I change my width, it's going to change my height proportionally. So I want to change this to 6.25. Notice that it automatically changes the height to keep it proportional. And so next I'll select Earth. And this should be 6.75 inches wide. And then I'm just going to click and drag crew down a little bit. And its width should be 6.7 inches. All right, and so now that I have my widths, notice that this is just kind of a mess right now. I've got stuff, you know, just kind of, you know, all over the place. And so let's come up to edit and let's select all and come over here to align and relative to page, let's align along the vertical axis. And so that'll get everything lined up evenly that way. And so now we've got another problem though. The area between each of our words is a little bit different. And so to get this evened up first, I'm just going to click on Spaceship and I'm going to use the arrow keys on my keyboard to just kind of move that up a little bit to get it spaced about there. And then I'll come down to Crew and use the up arrow key on the keyboard to get it kind of a similar distance and now I'm going to select all three of these and then come back over to a line and this time I'm going to use distribute and I'm going to distribute equal distance from each of the objects and so I'll click this button and actually those were already pretty <laughs> evenly um, distributed so um, if I had a bigger gap, you probably would have noticed it. Um, and so now I've got my words kind of lined up exactly like I want them inside the design. And so we just have one more step to go, folks.